Why did you bring him here? Not this time. What have you done? June 2nd, uh, log 940. Painting travel continues to be the best way to journey between worlds. I must stay hidden from the child. Or I risk the same fate as the others. It's hard not to worry about being followed back, though. Best not to dwell on it. Log end. September 14th, log 821. Plant life continues to grow out of control since Newt's disappearance. Research heavily impacted. Frustration building. Feeling... Lonely. Log end. March 1st, log 334. Newt is proving to be one of my most valuable creations. His help harvesting the more dangerous specimens has been a particular boon. Although I do need to address the battery design flaw, the poor soul just keeps collapsing. Best keep some spares on hand. Isn't that right, Newt? <laughs> log end. January 22nd, log 285. My dolls have confirmed apartment 10 as a new yellow site. The baby and his sitters so far remain unaware of my activities. Is it egotistical that I made the dolls look like myself? Maybe, but who's to judge? You? <laughs> log end. August 15th, log 633. Uh, I awoke with the incredible idea to redecorate with no one else around. Why not make the place my own? And I have this burning desire to paint the walls yellow. Yellow. So vivid in hue and, and really such a fun word to say. Yellow. 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 <laughs> yellow. This is the yellow room. Yellow, 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 yellow. Log ending. Uh, soon to be yellowly. December 1st, log 160. So the gyrosphere and the world door above the alchemy room remain the last bastion between our reality and that of the unspeakable one. Should I be driven mad and forget my duties, I leave this recording as a reminder. Never open the door, and never allow the gyrosphere to stop spinning. If the rings ever so much as waver, it will find you. Log end. April 4th, log 566. Right, the flower specimen 32C brought back from Carcosa shows promise, and could just be the reagent I've been searching for. The trick was finding a method to administer it to the child without getting too close. Luckily, his babysitters have no problem feeding him countless bottles of mysterious liquid. These experiments may be the key to our salvation.
part isn't even the fear of being crushed. It's, uh, the worst part is that the bathroom was in that half. <laughs> log end. February 27th, log 895. The cat, well, she's a particularly curious creature. Uh, whether she has motives or uh, a master of sorts, I, I simply do not know. She appears intelligent and is quick to warn me of danger when it suits her. <laughs> I'm always glad to see her face when I, I wake sharply from my dreams. I really hope she stays. Log end. March 12th, log 901. The view from the garden and the black star overhead is a mesmerizing sight. I often find myself staring into the abyss, wondering when my time will come. In memory of the fallen, I must persevere. Log end. Curiosity in July, following such a sweet spring, it started when I took this job, but I was not the first. They are with me. Night fell the first day, and the hours dragged on. Still we cared for the child. We spoke of Haster and Casilda in their absence, while outside the fog rolled in as the cloud waves roll and break on the walls. Oh, the sin of such innocent eyes, clear as crystal, understood by the ignorant and wise alike, more precious than jewels, more soothing than music, more awful than death. Then, as I fell, I knew that the baby in yellow had opened their tattered mantle, and there was only God to cry to now. Across the shore, in distant lands, with dark stars overhead, the prince was fast asleep until a cat jumped on his bed. I found a secret garden, said the cat with much delight. Excitedly they ran outside, explorers in the night. They walked through the golden garden gate. Look at the pretty trees. They walked along the pretty pebble path. Look at the colorful flowers. They walked past the fabulous flowing fountain. Look at the dancing water. Look, look, look. But the prince didn't like the garden and started kicking down the trees. He dug up flowers, grabbed the hedges and pulled off all the leaves. He ruined everything for fun. The cat watched on in fear. What a mistake I made, the cat cried out. I should never have brought him here. When the rabbit came to visit, the prince said, time to play. But his big red eyes, they scared her, and she didn't want to stay. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince ran right behind her and screamed, she must be stopped. Through dark corridors, he chased her. Hop, hop, hop. A relentless, futile flight. Hop, hop, hop. Round and round inside the palace, in and out of space and sight. Hop, hop, hop. The prince, he couldn't catch her. His heart was filled with wrath. The rabbit slipped right out the door and vanished down the path. The prince cried out, I need new friends. More, now, another. I'll bring you some, don't worry now, replied his loving, caring 
mother. It was cold throughout the palace. The moon shone bright outside. The wind, it blew and blew. Oh no! The curtains flew open wide. The little prince was in his bed and couldn't get to sleep. So he called out for his mother, Please go and find my sheep. I'm thirsty, said the prince. So the sheep fetched a drink. I am dirty, said the prince. So the sheep changed his clothes. I am tired, said the prince. Let me count you. One, two, three. Just one more thing, said the prince, before I drift to sleep. He opened up his big red eyes and turned to face the sheep. Come join me in my dreams. Stay forever in my head. Obediently, the sheep stepped forth. Its mind consumed by dreams. Good night. Black star overhead. White garden alone. The child demanded. A man made of snow. What the hell is this mess? Hey you, I'll be out for a few hours, so make sure you keep an eye on Baby Lirius, and I should be home around 7. Love you, bye. Hey, hope things are going well at home. I am stuck in traffic and running late. Is the fire over? Oh, hello. I'd like to book a sitter for my little prince. It's for three nights. You just need to feed him and put him to bed. Easy peasy. His bottle's in the fridge. The address is apartment 10, Euclidean Towers, and the key's under the plant pot. Take care, thanks. Oh, hello, it's Casilda from apartment 10. Oh, thank you for the last sitter. They went down a treat. <laughs> I'm off to a concert tonight. Could someone pop over and check in on my little prince? I'm oh, sorry it's so last minute. Take care, thanks. Listen, I've just got home, and your sitter has walked out. They were supposed to feed him. He needs a... <sighs> What are you doing out of bed? I need to sit just now. Just send someone right away. Yep. This is Crown Child Care, the gold standard in babysitting. You have one new client message.